Hey, welcome back. We're here with another new collection for May 2024. This is Heavy Weapons Medieval. This is an exciting addition it's covering these large scale sort of vehicle slash weapons to an extent. We'll start off by listening and getting an overall sense of all the awesome sounds and material that is contained in here. Let's put it all to the test. I have a really great sound design demo using the catapult sounds. So let's get started, listen to some things and check out the collection. Getting into the main project window here. So what we have is we have five projects in total, four siege weapons. So we have ballista, battering ram, catapult, and then a siege tower with a cauldron. And then additional siege engine project, which has sounds for impacts and flybys and all sorts of things that would apply for each of the projects. You could use it with any of them. Let's put the collection up to a design challenge, do a little bit of a demonstration. And then after that, we'll dive in even deeper to some of the sub projects and really get a listen at some of the layers and some of the features here. This is really the perfect example of why Strata is essentially so powerful as a tool. I didn't have to really waste any time to figure out how to implement these sounds for the design task that I had at hand here in the demonstration. After really only about 20 minutes, I had a working catapult full of sound in all the right places. To start with, I pre-planned out all the events and the sounds that I would actually need for the animation. The problem I could see as I was sort of approaching this is really source material and the design workflow for the scenario. It needs to be really flexible and modular, which is not really something I would generally find in my personal library or elsewhere. Taking a look at some of the sounds here in the Catapult project, many of the sounds in, uh, in this collection are gonna have multiple regions for each individual sound asset. So here for the Catapult, there's a composite region and then regions separately for the winch, the creaking wood, and then the stress on the chain. Everything together. Here's the winch by itself. Then the chain a separate creaking wood layer. So I could, you know, go about this by making individual changes with my mix levels, or even just using the layers themselves. So to move things over to Wise, I'm going to use Rio Wise. First step of doing that is I've selected all of the regions from the region marker manager that I want to transfer. And then I have the Rewise window open here. So what I'm going to do is use some of the wild cards to define how I want these to be organized. And I can save a preset before it ever reaches Wise itself. So marker for the actor mixer, track for the random containers. For the individual sound effects cues, I'm going to use the region information. Save that as a preset, which I already have done, and then go ahead and transfer that. And of course, I could use this preset over and over again for each of the individual seed weapons as I add them to the project. Rewise, huge time saver. Here it is. I did end up changing some of these to sequences. Here's the load sequence.
shot lever pull. All right, cool. So now you have a quick overview of how all those sounds kind of came together and how they could be used. And then another thing, maybe you haven't seen, but if you ever need to go in and make changes to any one of these sounds, I can very easily go to any of the sound effects cues. I can use the Open Associated Reaper project and get right back into designing and customizing and making it you know, the best sound it could possibly be. One thing we didn't really look at inside of the catapult demonstration was some of the movement sounds for the wheels or if the, if the actual siege engine is going to move through the battlefield. So there's even loops for the wheels. So here's some of that. This isn't the whole thing together. And then maybe if we want to basic layer some wood rattle. details, some of the higher squeaky stuff, and then a weight layer. I want to customize things a bit. Maybe I really just want to hear the weight of it. Other sounds might be too distracting. Or maybe just less of the squeakiness. So for the ballista, we also have some loading insert bolt sounds. So there's insert bolt and fire bolt. So there's the bolt. We'll break it into layers. We have plenty of variations, six variations for these. Basic layer, some wood scraping, and a wood drop sound down here. And then layer two, really highly detailed sort of wood scraping sound, a little bit more intimate than the other layer. And then you have some weight. A, the roof beam falling and then for the firebolt obviously this is going to be a little bit more interesting there's another kind of component to it so we have things like the wood scrapes wood drop and then here's on one of the layers for fire so fire burst and then a crackling sort of whoosh sound more fire details we're covering some scraping Put it all back. Then we have the shot trigger release. Go in layer by layer. So some latching and mat metal rattles. And some chain sounds, some metal impact and a wood latch. And then our weight layer. Looks like a door knock actually. There's literally an action for every single movement that this device could make. There's even a shot string release. The sound of the bolt actually is scraping against the ballista when it fires. So that's just, you know, incredible detail to have that. Whoosh for the shot. Basic layer, a lot of airy type stuff. Little sword scrape. And then again, some weight, bit of a whoosh. It's this wet shirt whoosh, that's interesting. It's more of a thud. Put it back. Let's open up the additional Siege Engine project. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here that really supports all the rest of the Siege Engines, whether it's the Ballista, the Catapult, or what have you. Two that are definitely worth highlighting are the Destruction and Construction sounds. So a lot of different materials in here, things like rubble, wood, metal. So all kinds of textures you could play with for, you know, whatever siege engine that is getting destroyed or if it's a building that's being destroyed. And then construction, a couple of different loops. Some song. And then you have some one shots. Put those in a random container. And then also you have like a nice little completion sound. So. It's like, yeah, I can almost imagine this in sort of like an RTS or something like that. They're building different facilities. Nice construction complete sound. Could sort of spruce that up with some magic or something from one of the other collections. We also have quite an array of projectile sounds, flybys, and impacts. So here's some of the flybys. The bolt. Fire bolt. Some shrapnel. 
break this one down a little bit. The boulder. Fireball. And of course, impacts as well for many of these. Could be used for any of the projectile impacts, most likely. You would just come in here and tailor it to the, the circumstances. It's broken down into different layers. So you have ground, rock, and then wood. And this additional low rumble. Basically just get rid of what you don't need for an individual impact. So maybe we just need a ground, ground and some low rumble, or maybe we just want wood, you know? Or of course, you know, any kind of combination, you know, just your mix levels, do whatever you need to make it work. So just going into my overall impression here, as we've seen, each siege weapon is highly customizable. It's broken down into a lot of different components. So all of the machinery that would be involved, you have total control over placement and how that's going to work in your project. You could use it with a lot of other collections and a lot of other circumstances outside of your siege engines. So super great pallet of material just inside that additional siege engine project. You have this whole template and roadmap it takes off a lot of the pressure and you can just focus on the creative outlet side of what you're trying to accomplish. Once again, thank you for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe so you can see new collection overviews and get all up to date on Strata as we move forward month to month. If you haven't yet, again, download the two free sample collections. There's a ton of material in there and you can use it for free right after you're done watching this video. You can go in there and try some of the stuff that I've been showing you. Any questions, head over to the Audio Kinetic Community Q&A, ask there, look under Strata, or again, you can always leave comments in the YouTube comment section, and we'll have a look at those and see if there's anything we can help you with. Take care, and I will see you next month.